Hi everyone, Becky here. Welcome back to another episode of Bushcraft Essentials. I hope you're enjoying these videos and please let me know if you've got any recommendations. Today I'm going to be talking about a really important subject and that is knife safety and various knife grips that you can use. So I'm going to be demoing it on my Castrom number 10 forest knife which I recently did a video on. But anyway, I'm going to be talking about knife safety as I think this is a really important subject that doesn't really get covered. A lot of people go out and they buy knives and they use them and they don't really know how to be safe with them. I know this could be a boring subject but it is really vital and prevention is so much better than cure because once you've cut yourself or you've injured yourself it's going to knock your confidence and you could potentially have a serious injury. I think it's so vital now for young people and kids to practice outdoor skills the younger you start the more confidence you're going to get and it's just going to grow right so one of the first things that you should learn is the triangle of death and that is basically the inside of your leg your groin and that sort of area and it roughly makes a sort of triangle this is the part that you should avoid any sort of cutting tools you should avoid any cutting tools from your body mainly because when you're using a knife you mainly direct it towards your legs with the force of gravity so you should not be using and cutting something on your legs or near them you should always have your legs spread or be leaning on a log or something to do tasks like that also when you're around people you should do the 360 check and that is literally holding your arm straight out and walking in a circle hold your arm out straight and turn 360 degrees all the way around in a circle ensuring that you don't hit anyone if you do hit someone or you touch someone in that process then you, it shows you're too close to be using a knife in that close proximity it's so much better to be safe than sorry and it would be awful if you were to accidentally cut someone if you were carving or using your knife in some way so I'm now going to talk about the three to four knife grips that you can use just to help you get the best performance out of your knife but also to be safe so like i said i'm using the castrom number 10 which is quite a big knife this is my go-to bushcraft knife right so first off is the standard fist grip fist grip is just where you're holding your fist clenched onto the handle of the knife and holding it so it's nice and secure in your palm so some knives have got really nice ergonomics so you can hold it really well and for a long period of time with it without it aching or getting uncomfortable so the fist grip is really secure grip where you can get a lot of power down when you're using gravity and your body weight so you can take large chunks of wood off some timber so this is a really firm grip and you can apply a lot of pressure but also be really gentle when you use the different parts of your blade so when you use the edge you can get really small intricate work done I also like with the fist grip that you, if you apply your thumb you can get more force and you can get more detail I guess when you're doing slight carvings as well the fist grip is used when you're using a 90 degree spine for your ferro rod i use my right hand then i'm left-handed so yeah you're applying that same sort of grip when you're using your ferro rod because you don't want to be holding your hand over the actual blade you want to be keeping it away from the blade and just on the handle that's why some of the knives have this little piece here because it just helps to stop you from your hand from slipping off the handle and onto the blade you don't want to be holding your knife so you get white knuckles you just want to be holding it comfortably and safe in your hand so yeah that is the fist grip right before i carry on i would like to thank the sponsor for today's video i'm really happy to be working with this sponsorship because it is really linked to this sort of video and the bushcrafty outdoor scene and it is a new film that is coming out and it's called wild men is basically based on today's society and a guy who is just sick of modern society and all the conveniences and wants to escape that so the film was actually shot in Danish in the Norwegian wilderness and it's absolutely beautiful as you'll see from the trailer as well as some funny moments in it to make it a bit of a comedy it is also linked to how people feel 
today. I'm trying to escape to really feel free and sort of wild out in the mountains and outside. Wild Men is out in cinemas from the 6th of May, which is a few days time, and it looks like it's going to be a really cool film. I will leave the trailer in a second so you can have a little look-see and see if you like it. I thought it was kind of linked in with this bushcrafty theme today and got the hat on and everything, haven't I? Have you found it? Ikke enda. Hey. Han skulle få noget teambuilding med sit arbejde. Martin? Muse. Er det her din første store vandretur? Nå ja. Første vandretur. Har du boet her i lang tid, eller? Jeg har boet her i... Et års tid, eller sådan noget? Nej, jeg har boet her i... I ti dage. Jeg har sgu prøvet alt muligt. Jeg har prøvet løbeklub og en halv Ironman. Men jeg har ikke kunnet mærke noget. Her kan jeg mærke noget. Wow. Right, I'm going to carry on and back to the video. Carrying on with the knife grips. Enjoy. Next one I'm going to go on to is the knee lever grip. So this is basically getting your knee involved. And this is a position I think you can hold for a really long time. And when used correctly, you can get a lot of material off a piece of wood. You can also do finer tasks like feather sticks. So this is basically locking your wrist into your knee and you'll, fi and you'll find when you feel your knee that you've got a tiny little groove where your back of your blade will fit in and you should be sat in a comfortable position that's nice and secure with your legs apart so you're getting away from that triangle of death and you should be bringing the wood towards you to remove any material. So yeah, that is the knee lever. Next one that is used is the chest grip lever and this is basically locking the knife into your chest again but you can move it slightly. So this is done when you're just putting the end of the handle in towards your chest and you're going to be pulling pieces of wood in towards the blade. You can be moving it in slight motions. You're not going to cut yourself like this because you're simply pulling outwards, not in towards you. So this is really good for removing large pieces of material, especially when other people are around because you're not going to be moving that much. You're going to be making big motions. It's quite small movements. This is a really safe one to do when you're with other people. The next one is sort of utilizing your knife to become a draw knife. So if you're not carrying a draw knife on you and you want to have that same effect, you can have your knife lodged in with your hand or you can put it into a piece of wood like a log or a stump and you can draw the wood towards you while your knife is stationary. The other alternative is holding your wood still and pulling the knife towards you but I think this is one to use once you're more confident with your knife and you've been using it for a while. If your knife's, if your knife's blunt while doing this it could be slightly dodgy because it's becomes dangerous when your knife's blunt so, but if it's nice and sharp it's going to cut smoothly and prevent cutting you. So this is similar to like peeling potatoes, the same motion of pulling the knife towards you. You're not going to cut yourself and it's quite a quick process. This can be used for more carving and sort of taking less material off and getting more intricate stuff done with your knife. Obviously the type of wood you're working with is going to change the amount of force and pressure that you apply. So if you're working with oak you're going to be putting a lot of pressure on because it's a real hardwood. Where if you're working with green, pine or birch or some sort of green wood it's going to be so much easier to manipulate. So yeah they're the knife grips that I wanted to cover in today's video and just talk about sort of knife safety and sort of being around people, make sure you do your 360 checks, make sure you avoid cutting in towards your legs and either do it at the side of you or open your legs and in between your legs or lean on a sort of stump or a log so you're just getting out of the way of cutting on towards you. Obviously with more practice and time you're going to be really confident and I don't think 
even if you are confident you should lose that fear you should always have respect for your tools because accidents can happen especially when you're hungry or you're tired I've known people have used knives ages I've used knives for a few years now and it still means that I avoid cutting towards my legs and do the correct grips thank you so much for watching this video I hope you enjoyed and found it quite useful and practical I hope you go out and trial some of these with whatever blade and knife that you carry. Thank you to all my Patreons for making this possible. I really appreciate it. I am announcing some upcoming trips that I have planned for this year over on there. So if you're interested, go have a look, see. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in next week's episode. Take care. Like a wild man, sleeping like a child.